If you need to be or want to be more organized, there's a lifetime deal that just dropped. It's called Save Day. Now, I'm not going to be kidding you. It's not like they've invented a spaceship, but it is helpful if you want to be more organized. Now, on this video, we're going to review it. So let's get started. What's up, everyone? This is Save Day. And what it can do is that you can be browsing around and you can save the pages. You can add notes to certain sections of the page and you can ask questions based on what you saved. So it's kind of useful in a sense, but you need to understand that this is not for everyone. This is for people who like to be organized and save these things in a specific way. Now, if you just want to save the page, like making your favorite page, something like that, well, that works too. And that could work for you. But if you're looking to be organized, this might be the way for you. Okay. So let me, let, let me get started with the deal. Let's scroll down here, which starts off at $69, which is not really affordable if you ask me. Okay. So the tier one gives you access to essential and license tier two and three gives you access to elite plan, right? So these are tied with the features of these plans on their page. Now, if you ask me the $69 deal and the tier two deal, it's not exactly the best option. And, and it's not because I want to make you buy the tier three, but it's because you get unlimited key point credits and unlimited question answer credits, which are really useful. This is where I think this actually shines. And that's something that's going to be excluded from tier one and two by limiting by 30 key points per month or 30 question answers per month. Now, what are these? Well, I can be browsing around in a page and I can click on the Chrome extension right here. In this case, I've already saved it and I've already asked for the key points for this specific page. Now, these are going to be found right here in the content notes. So these are the key points and it's giving me a summary of what's going on here and key information for this. Now, as I mentioned before, um, it's kind of limited in the sense, especially if you're going to be limited with 30 credits or 90 credits. If you have unlimited, well, that's great. But if not, there's other Chrome extensions that can summarize a page that can do this. So if I'm limited, this doesn't really incentivize me to grab this deal. OK, now, another thing you can do aside from saving it, which we'll see in a bit, is add sticky notes. So add a sticky note. I can click anywhere in this section and it's going to add a sticky note, for example, here on tier one. And I'm going to say. I don't like it. All right, that's going to be the sticky note. It's added there and I know it's going to be available when I need it, when I scroll into these pages. OK, so now in my content, there's also the sticky note right here. Here's in the bottom. I can go ahead and select it and it's available there and I can edit what it says and I can go ahead and delete it if I like. All right, that's for that section. Now, if I want to jump into the library where everything is, I'll click here and I'll go to library and it'll take me to this section. I'm going to have all my saved day pages here, notes, pages, images, etc., all from here. Now, what I really like on this is that I can go into Canvas and ask a question on based on everything that I've saved there, right? So I can start a question and ask something relevant to what I've saved before. OK, so, for example, let me ask something really quickly. For example, in this case, I'm going to ask it, what was the name of the deal for affiliates? So maybe I didn't remember. I have 100 save the day uh, post library, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to ask it. So in this case, it's going to take it there. So right now it's going to analyze to find that answer based on all what all the things I've saved. Here's the response. And it actually said, sorry, I cannot execute the test when it actually did. So here it is, the gizmo one that I've saved previously. So it knows this was a video that I selected for the keynotes and it knows this was what I'm looking for. So here it is. Gizmo 3.0 will unlock your Amazon affiliate potential. So based on everything that I've saved, I can use a Q&A to get those results. I think that's where it really shines. But if I'm going to get limited in tier one or two, then I'm, I really think you should skip it. All right. But if you want to get tier two, three, that would be the way to go. Now on YouTube, there's also features on YouTube to get the key points and save certain time frames where you are. So for example, Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and view this. Let me go ahead and mute it. Let me show you on this here video how we to create a survey so I can on actually Google save Forms. this moment so and I can me to my desktop right now. Let's go ahead and save the moment. Here we go. I'll just say oh. wow for that. And it's saved it on that specific time frame, right? And then I can get key points for this video. Hey, so what's up, everyone? My name is George seconds. and this is new. Go ahead and pause this. Here we go. We got the key points for this, but it's going to be deducted from my plan. So right now, my plan from the 30 monthly credits that I have, it's already on 26. And from the questions, it's also going to be deducted. So 
as I mentioned, I mean, tier one and two is definitely a skip for me, unless you are good to go with, with the unlimited saved items, unlimited searches, unlimited highlights, notes, etc. If you're good to go with that, then this is a great option. But if you want to take advantage of the key points and the Q&A, the only way to go is I see tier three, which I think is expensive for what it can do right now. So do consider that. That's my review. And if you want to grab this deal, the link we provided in the description. And that's a wrap for save day.